Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create a metallic paint job for a car model. So here you see a model that I've been working on for a little bit, um, Nissan 350Z. Yeah, it's coming along. I haven't quite cleaned everything up yet, so not quite done, but it'll work for this tutorial. So here is kind of a the default view. Uh, I've moved the camera around a little bit, but this is close enough. So, to create the uh, surrounding room, I guess, go ahead, hit uh, Shift A and add a plane. Go ahead and uh, scale that plane up, pull it back, kind of center it in, around the car. Go into tab mode with everything selected. Uh, hit control tab and go into uh, edge select mode. You can also hit the buttons down here. Um, hit extrude individual and then drag it along the Z. So you can kind of scale it up and create a, a sort of a fish bowl or fish pond, whatever. It, that kind of effect. And then hit control 2 and it'll create a nice little bowl. I'm going to add another loop cut just so that it all works out a little better. Also, set the uh, shading to smooth. Make sure you have everything selected. There we go. So that should work nicely. So now that we've done that, um, I've created a uh, materials screen, but it basically just consists of three things. The uh, blender viewport, a cycles viewport, and a uh, node editor. Um, I think future blender versions should have one like this because it's a lot easier to work with for materials, but oh well, it's easy enough to create. So. Um, go ahead and first let's do lighting actually. Um, so hit shift A and create a plane. Drag that somewhere above the car. I'm gonna scale that up. There we go. Yeah. Now I'm gonna give it a uh, an array modifier. Change it from offset along the X to along the Y. 2.5 should work for at least for this scene. Um, just set it up for your scene. It'll be a little bit different. I'm also going to scale up the the cup. So now go into materials and hit new. Call it light and give it an emission. Uh, give it an emission node. I'm going to turn that up to about 5 mm. and pull it along the Z. There we go. So that looks pretty good. So now let's get into the actual car paint. So car paint is actually really easy to make. Uh, it consists of two glossy uh, nodes. So first one and then hit shift D to duplicate it and second one. Also grab a mix shader and connect connect all of them like that. So right now that looks pretty bad but uh, change it to a sharp distribution and turn down the rough roughness to uh, 0 0.02. So this one that we've changed to sharp is like the uh, reflections of actual light. This bottom one is the uh, the car's color itself. So it's kind of like the clear coat and then the base coat. So if you want to change the color of the car, just go in and using the uh, bottom one, the, the Beckman distribution glossy node, um, just change the color. like that. So 
that was pretty simple. Um, that could be the entire tutorial, but that's no fun. Okay, uh, just three nodes right there. But yeah, that's how you do car paint. So just for an added bonus, um, I'm going to show you how to link the camera to the car so that when you move it around, it follows the car instead of looking off into Never Never Land. So to do that, select the camera, hit the uh, object constraints, and give it a track to constraint. For the target, select the body or whatever is kind of the center of the car, and it will whip the camera around. Uh, for up, set it to Y, and for the two, give it a negative Z. Now, if you drag the camera around, it will rotate to follow the car. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any di ideas for future tutorials, please let me know. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching.